Systems biology is a pretty cool field that's all about understanding how different parts of living systems work together as a whole. It's kind of like trying to figure out how all the pieces of a puzzle fit together to create a big picture. Scientists in this field use all sorts of tools and techniques to study things like cells, organs, and even whole organisms, and they're always looking for ways to piece together all the information they gather to get a better understanding of how things work. It's a pretty exciting area of research, and it's helping us to make new discoveries about everything from how diseases develop to how our bodies respond to different environmental factors. The central aim of systems biology is to develop a comprehensive understanding of the behavior and function of biological systems at multiple levels of organization, from molecular and cellular to organismal and ecological. This is achieved by utilizing a range of experimental and computational methods, such as genomics, proteomics, metabolomics, mathematical modeling, and network analysis. One of the key concepts in systems biology is the notion of networks. Biological systems are composed of intricate networks of molecules, cells, tissues, and organs that interact with each other in complex ways. By analyzing these networks, systems biologists can gain insight into the underlying mechanisms that govern the behavior of biological systems. To be fully effective such an approach needs to repeatedly traverse an interactive cycle of collaborative interaction between biological knowledge and the proposed hypothesis that has to be validated by robust experimentation. The obtained datasets can be constructed into networks that can be correlated to the available biological knowledge and analyzed in light of the hypothesis. Life's complexity pyramid showing hierarchy of structures from basic genomic information at the base to regulatory motifs, functional modules and large-scale biological networks. The upward-directed information is universal in nature while the information flow downstream of a network is cell-slash-organism specific. For example, network analysis can be used to identify the key molecules and pathways involved in disease processes and to predict the effects of potential therapeutic interventions. Similarly, mathematical modeling can be used to simulate complex biological systems and to generate hypotheses about their behavior and function. Another important aspect of systems biology is the use of quantitative data. Traditional biological research has often relied on qualitative observations and descriptive models. In contrast, systems biology emphasizes the importance of quantifying biological phenomena and generating quantitative data that can be analyzed and interpreted using mathematical and computational tools. Systems biology has already yielded many important insights into the behavior and function of biological systems. For example, it has led to the identification of new drug targets and therapeutic strategies for a range of diseases, including cancer, diabetes, and neurodegenerative disorders. It has also helped to elucidate the fundamental principles that underlie biological processes such as development, evolution, and aging. In conclusion, systems biology represents a paradigm shift in the way we approach the study of living systems. By integrating multiple disciplines and utilizing a range of experimental and computational methods, systems biologists are able to generate a more comprehensive and quantitative understanding of biological systems than ever before. As the field continues to grow and evolve, it is likely to yield many more important insights into the complex behavior and function of living systems.